Okay, let me try recording again. I have changed my. Uh, to to disk space. Uh, I ran out of this space. Okay, I think some people have reptilian DNA. I'm not sure if all of them can shape shift or activate that switch in humans that masks their presence, as mentioned in the Lucifer files. I think people who are narcissistic and psychopathic have this reptilian DNA uh, or it's activated to a very high degree. They are more cold and calculating. The word cold-blooded comes to mind. Maybe the Germans were experimenting with mixing reptilian DNA with human DNA. The Nazis during World War II and in Antarctica. It's been said the Nazis met both reptilians in Aldebar and ETs during World War II. This is why we have so many narcissistic and psychopathic people in society today. Are these people born out of genetic experiments uh, involving hybridizing reptilian DNA with the DN human DNA? Is that why the world is so cruel and evil and sadistic? Mm. The phrase, the banality of evil, wasn't that like... Someone wrote that, there was a, that, that lady wrote that book about the Nazis, about their bu bu bureaucracy. And it's the one world government promoted by the reptilians because they fear us as a species due to the history of wars between them and the Elohim, and they want to a controlled human population to aid their survival. Is it the reptilians who created this technology to prevent normal humans from engaging their innate psychic capabilities to keep us in check? There are so many players here, or possible players, human, non-human, interdimensional, spiritual, and not that many definitive answers, so we can speculate based on listening to witness testimony, historical records, and uh, you know, we can we can infer, we can in make good inferences. I think Jacob Rothschild is dead, or appears to be so. I am asking a serious question here. Is this bad news for humanity? If he is a reptilian or a human reptilian hybrid, or just part of the human cabal, is his announced death cover for an evacuation operation out of it? Uh, is he being uh, taken somewhere because they, are they planning to nuke humanity or start uh, do wars. I'm not sure people should celebrate his death. This can be a bad sign. I know people think, or some, or most people think, this reptilian thing might not be real. Even if he's not a reptilian, maybe he's just been taken to Antarctica or some underground base. They're preparing for war with surface humanity. I don't want to believe this. It's terrifying if this were real. Uh, so my psychology just turns away. Uh, maybe it's better to laugh at such ideas. And sometimes I do chuckle to myself, smirk. Maybe it's a coping mechanism. I just have a bad feeling about this. I don't think we should celebrate. Not that celebrating people's death, if it is true, is a good thing. But you get the idea. What is the benefit of having reptilian DNA? What is an evolutionary advantage? Humans can be very trusting. This makes them vulnerable to manipulation and exploitation. But it's normal to be... But it's normal... But it's human, I guess I would say. To be open and trusting, it's a good feeling to live in a world like that. However, being more cunning, circumspect, manipulative, cerebral, 
low empathy traits are associated with reptilian. This aids survival as you don't allow emotional connections to get in the way of strategic action. Phrase cold hearted comes to mind. Genetically modified humans with reptilian DNA that are not easy to manipulate and control through emotion, warm, fuzzy feelings. I don't like people like this. That's just me. Maybe the Elohim, they, maybe the current version of humanity, which was brought here about 8,500 years ago. Maybe the people <coughs> we have here are more have more of a reptilian component to it, maybe. Or maybe the reptilians did it themselves. I don't know, because I've heard that Oh, well, actually, I heard that in some places, like, uh, you know, the Indus Valley civilization. I heard this in a video. So this this has, so this is not the Atlantean, so I don't know. But the, the, let me just talk about the idea. The idea is that if humans are very trusting and open, they can be prey to a more predatory species. So you put more reptilian uh, traits into humanity it's to make them more like able to survive to be more aggressive and to be more cunning and uh, you know strategizing so they don't get uh, maybe the Elohim this is how they were experimenting with humanity maybe they cre initially created or at some point created humans who were very uh, like trusting because one of the positive things of having a... Because I think humans have a DNA, like a worship DNA thing. Because we worship gods. Look at the religions. We worship celebrities. We worship our people or maybe ideologies. We always worship something. And I think that's part of our programming or our genetic makeup by design. Because if you have people who like to worship you, who put you on a pedestal. Even this cabal worships the, the Elohim. They're still like being human by worshipping the devil or whatever. You're still worshipping. And and by having this worship trait, maybe it's maybe genetically encoded, the so-called junk DNA, as was mentioned in that video. That's a system of control. You know, humans always find something to worship and that makes us easy to manipulate and control. And it's Probably by design, the, our creators wanted beings who would worship them. But humans can be, you know, you can manipulate humans to worship someone else too. So they're, they're, these, it's almost like these aliens are fighting for our worship. They want, they want humans to worship them, but there might be different factions of aliens and each alien want their own little human colony group. That's why you probably have different religions and, you know, because humans like worshiping. So those in power, those who are like aliens or the, the other humans who are trying to imitate the gods uh, might be, you know, they have their own little cult or religion or <laughs> ideology. Uh, Nazism is another form of worship, you know, they worshipped Hitler. That, that's a trait in us. Um... And, and, you know, it, it feels good to be like you're part of a community and a f family. That's another system of control. It's, it's designed to, like, and social taboos. Like, no one wants to be the outsider. It really makes you feel bad. Again, it's to get you to be a part of a group, group think, systems of control that have been engineered into us by extraterrestrial species or interdimensional entities. Maybe the, this was a trial and error. Maybe that's why the, 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 the Elohim they destroyed previous versions of humanity because they found out, oh, well, these people are just too easy to... Like, these people aren't aggressive enough. They're going to be like, we need, we need to create a humans as well. A bit more aggressive, but not too aggressive. We, need this, we, we still need them to, to worship us. We have to, like, find a balance between finding a, a group of people that can... Be easy to control, who will worship us, but will also have enough cunning uh, that they will be able to survive on their own. It's like you're creating artificial intelligent robots and, and, and you're trying to find out, you know, like machine learning. <laughs> you're trying to find out where is the right, the right mix of 
uh, worship DNA, but a bit more cunning and be a bit more independent so they can survive on their own. We don't want to like do like, uh, you know, manage every little thing, you know, what's that phrase, you know. We don't want to deal with the minutia. These people must be independent enough to take care of themselves because we don't want to like con completely control their behavior. But they must be also uh, capable of being controlled. You know, they're trying to find the balance. Uh, anyway, I don't like people who are over reptilian. <laughs> this is my. This is the thing about that. Uh, uh, what do you call it? It's about that whole, like, our whole brains uh, and our, how we, some people can perceive. Is that an evolutionary trait? Is that done artificially or is that naturally or is it artificially? They didn't explore that there, but I think um, some humans can see things. These people, people think they are schizophrenic or whatever, that they might actually be seeing things that are actually there. And, uh, like it has something to do with el the electromagnetism that might be the actual technology you know electromagnetic technology that's stopping our brains from perceiving beings around us oh this is about bill gates no no i don't know if i should talk about this here because this could be considered defamatory I just want to say this is just my speculation, my inference. I don't have any evidence to back this up. You know how people uh, look at Bill Gates and think, "Oh, this guy is evil. He's uh, what he's doing the the cabal's agenda, the deep state." But if when I watch this, this is when Microsoft was going to be broken up by the Justice Department. You know, they were thinking the the monopoly rules. And I was just looking at this video, and that's when I then I got this idea. This is when they got him. They got him to make a deal to save his company. This is when he became an asset for the cult, an asset for the deep state, for the intelligence agencies. Maybe they, they said, okay, we don't, maybe they made a deal with Microsoft, with uh, Bill Gates saying, we won't break up your company, but, in, but, in order for but you have to be an asset for us and ever since then they've been using him to promote the climate change and the cure and maybe this is what happened maybe this is how this is how they get to people when you're in your weakest moment when you and, and when you have something that you work so hard for microsoft it's, it's your pet project it's your baby you, you you don't want that to be ruined and when you're this desperate, that's when they come and they come and make these deals with you. You're making a deal with the devil. <laughs> but this is my speculation. I, you know, I don't have any evidence that he's an asset. This is just my inference from making this video. So I just want to say it's just my speculation opinion. I don't have any evidence for it. Self's so being used to push Cabal cult's message. U.S. lying to your face. Some interesting tweets. Here are some speculations on Rothschild's death, the cure. Mm, some information about the cure that's come out recently. Very good points. When you think of all that, all the evil that these people are committing on this planet and their occult symbolism and taunting of their victims before they do it. There was a two, interview with Jim Carrey on Jimmy Kimmel when he was talking about, oh, all these people know what's going on, man. You know, the, the he was talking about like how there's, <laughs> like people are woke to the symbolism, the depravity of it all. Maybe this is why Atlantis was sunk. It had to be. You cannot live with this evil. At least that is what those that is what those people thought or may have thought. And that is what we think now. I mean, how can you live with this evil? <laughs> These people are just, imagine if the cure was unleashed on humanity and now we are all hostages, billions of us. All the cult has to say is comply or else we'll activate the nanoparticles wirelessly and you die. 
This is the kind of depravity I'm talking about. I mean, can you live with, I mean, if this is true, um, and I'm sort of, sort of, my inter I'm inferring based on all of the information that I'm consuming, it, it's sort of uh, becoming apparent to me that we have this evil cabal, a cult with uh, this kind of religion who's trying to, who's orchestrating this from Antarctica and who knows where else, other places. Maybe it's even this interdimensional being, these fallen angels, the, the creators of humanity. Maybe they're doing it too, or you know, it could be the reptilians who are, you know, on underground and there are lots of people talking about that. You could be the reptilians, uh, you know, the, lots of religions have this snake and, uh, you know, reptilian. Where did they get that from? They, they must have gotten that from somewhere, all these different religions. Maybe at some point humans interacted with the reptilians, but now they, because of the, all the horrible things they've been doing to humanity and humans fought back, because why would you like... I mean, look at how people are resisting what this cabal is doing. Maybe people in the past also, you know, they also started resisting because these beings were being bad to humanity. <laughs> humanity is being completely used and abused by these aliens and angels and interdimensional, whatever. They all, it's like, it's like I've heard this phrase, humanity is an abused species. I think, I think uh, I heard that phrase from someone. Anyway, so yeah, it's like it's like we're being abused and used by. It's because they're suppressing. It's like it's in our creation. We were created by these beings to be a workforce. What does it say in the Bible? I think we were initially we could have been created to be like okay, you're gonna be a custodian of the earth. But that initial project to be a custodian of the earth. Uh, over time, there have been many fights over us. Maybe aliens want our allegiance. Maybe because we are so easy to manipulate, because, either because we are being suppressed. Um, like, we might be as a resource. Humans as a resource are good to be used as soldiers and as workers. And maybe even some of these people want worship or something and there is a competition for our allegiance by beings who might not be human you know not only are humans competing for our allegiance but other beings who created us uh, might be competing for humanity's allegiance and they're using us to fight wars and you know using us to fight over dominion over planet earth as i mentioned the area world war ii could, all these wars could be like these beings, these interdimensional entities or uh, other aliens or reptilians or something, they're either using humans to fight their wars over this planet. You know, that, that's that. Like, I don't know. If, I'm not saying that's factually true, but it, it but it just seems like that makes a lot of sense to me because I, I can I can see so clearly how easy it is to manipulate humans and then we're like, who's going to look out for us? <laughs> Do we have to worship benevolent ETs? I mean, are these our saviors? I mean, isn't, aren't, are human beings ever going to get to a point where we can look after our own interests? Maybe we have to genetically modify ourselves so we can... Uh, have the capacity to perceive these interdimensional beings so so we're not like so they can't trick us because if we can't see them if we can't perceive them then they can easily control us so maybe we need to either genetically modify ourselves so we have this capability to perceive them or if there is some kind of a pyramid or the moon or something it has some technology suppressing us through some electromagnetic field kind of thing. Maybe we need to do something about it. And I'm afraid that, you know, if this moon is going to be like activated, maybe one of, maybe in order for humanity to evolve, they might have to take the moon off orbit or they might have to do something and that might cause a lot of problems on that. Uh, or another way is that maybe the people who are the original 
architects of the universe or of Earth. You know, maybe the Earth was seeded at a certain point. And there are like ro robots. Some of these greys might be robots, and they are the other ones who are like caretakers uh, of, of planet Earth. And maybe, like, you know, how in it's been said that humans are part of the environment. If, if we are custodians, part of the environment, maybe in order for the planet to evolve to the next level, humanity might have. <laughs> maybe they need to do something where that's going to cause a lot of cataclysms and uh, you know, earthquakes, whatever. But they're trying to evolve the planet and not, they're not really that concerned about humans per se. Uh, well, that's just me thinking out loud there. Uh.